Hi, tonight from Groovy Entertainment. Today video talking about movies that have turned 40 years old this year. And I got a handful. Now, like I said, I got over 1,200 movies, but I was able to find a handful of movies from 1984. Start for our first one. Here's the Gremlins, a movie about cute little monsters that when they get wet, they turn to evil little monsters. And this is the DVD version. And I don't know when this came out, what month it came out, but this came out in 1984. This movie turned 40 years old this year. Then our next one is Firestarter. A movie about a little kid that have the power to start fires. And... I think, I think this was her second movie. Her first movie was E.T. And that was terrible. This was her better of the two movies. And that's all I can say about this. I hit some pictures. This came out in 1984. Here's Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. This is the second movie from that series. And this is like, this is Indiana Jones go to India to save the boy and the lady. Now, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I've seen this a hundred times back when in the 80s and early 90s. There's some pictures. Now, if you've seen any of these movies, leave me in the comments. If you saw them when they first came out, I saw them on TV. Here's the evil that men do, a Charm Bronson film. And that, let's see. So I think this is the one where he goes to, I think, Latin America to stop an evil drug lord. This, this was a good movie. I guess I hadn't seen this movie in a long time either. And here's some pictures. I know the, the back of the cover ain't that clear. Here it's mission, Missing in Action about some kind of war hero that comes back and try to stop a, a drug lord from taking over Texas. That was the cover sentence on the back of it. And this is the whole collection, one, two, and three. A Chuck Norris film. We've got three, well, we got four more films. Ghostbuster. Now, this was about a bunch of men going after ghosts. And I think this one a hundred times on TV when it first got the TV. All kind of way to put on all the channels. Now, this movie made about, I think they made about three other movies of these characters. I got the first two movies. This on VCR tape. I think I got another one on ear. So this is a DVD. That one on the VCR tape. Here's Runaway with Magnum P.I. guy where he fights a bunch of crazy robots. And the guy, the lead singer from Kiss is in this movie, too. He played the bad guy. Now, this was during, this was during his TV show. And this was a good movie. It was a lot faster than the Magnum P.I. show. And our last one, Godzilla 1984. This has been Godzilla come back for the second, well, for the third time around. And he played the bad guy in this one. Now, I got both versions. This one and the 1985 one, Godzilla, 19, yeah, Godzilla 1985 on VCR tape. And this was a pretty good movie for him to come back. So if you've seen any of these movies, 
like like I said, when they first came out, or if you saw my reruns that I saw, because I didn't get to see these movies when they first kept theaters. So, oh, we got one more. Okay, we got Dune. <laughs> this is... I don't know what this movie's about. I know you got the guy from Sting. So it's kind of funny. You got this guy from Sting, and you got the 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 guy from Kiss. They both play bad guys. The the two lead singers. I don't know if any other singers. Oh, you had Labyrinth with David Bodie. He played a bad guy in that movie. I don't got that movie because I didn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that great. Even when I was little, I didn't want to read about it. So you could say a lot of singers, a lot of rock and roll singers played bad guys in the 80s. And all I know, it's a long movie. Um, I don't know much about it. I only seen it broken up when it came on the three channels back when I was little. And they would just take up the three channels and they showed this movie. And if you've seen this movie, you can leave it in the comments also. So now we got all the movies. <laughs> now, I got a lot more movies, but these are what I can find handy. Like I said, I got over 1,200 movies. Now, I got a lot of movies to look for. So, these were the... Well, let's just go like this. These were the movie that came out in 1984 that's 40 years old this year. And I'll come back and show you what I did find in my collection that turned 50 years old, you'll probably be amazed what turned 50 years old this year. So please, so please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a good every day with another video coming out real soon.